Making a title page is extremely straightforward. You just go over to the book outline, click book title, and then you're presented with whatever your template uh, started with, and you can manipulate this. So if you click on the background, we see the whole background is selected now. You can, uh, that's where you'd be able to put in an image or give it an outline, change the fill, that's the background color. I'm going to change that to a very pale yellow, maybe not quite that pale. And we'll give it a thick outline and kind of charcoal gray. We see we got two text boxes. Of course, there could be more, there could be fewer. I just have one for the book title and one for the author name. And the reason I only have two and the reason that the text is so large is because mostly your readers are going to see this as a small thumbnail in the bookshelf screen of the iBooks reader. Um, it'll only briefly kind of blow up and become big, become this big for a moment as, the, as they're opening the book. When they click on that icon, it'll blow up, get big, and then open up and suddenly they're in the inside of the book. So you really don't see this title page very much except as kind of a postage stamp sized thumbnail, which is why I made everything large and I don't have any small text. But this is hard to read, isn't it? So I'm going to change it. Well, first notice that this is special text. When you click it, you get these options to change it to the chapter or the section or what have you. But we obviously want to leave it as the book title. But if I select it, I can change the color, the font, and so forth. And I'm just going to change it to charcoal gray, kind of to match the outline. I'm going to leave the author author name as is. And that's basically it. That's, that's your uh, book title. It's very, very easy to modify.